Alright folks, welcome back. I'm back with another problem from the second chapter of the Merriam textbook, question 73. We have an overhead view of the handlebars on an all-train vehicle, as we can see. And we know the indicated forces have a magnitude of 150 newtons. We need to determine the moment created by these two forces about the vertical steering axis through point O. So we need to find a moment about point O. We know both N axes are perpendicular to the left hand bar and we will treat the problem as two-dimensional uh, so I tried to uh, draw what we are seeing in the figure in here so we can see the details a little bit better and what we're interested in here at the end we are trying to find a moment about point O and we're gonna call it counterclockwise positive as always but before that let's just figure out some angles in here we know here we have 15 degrees we can see that in the question and same in the other side and the length from here to here is 750 millimeter and we also know that the OA is equal to OB and in order to find the moment about point O the fastest way in here so the green line that we can we see in here is the the n axis that we have in the question which is perpendicular to the left handlebar and if you figure out some angles in here it's pretty easy to solve this question so first of all for finding the moment about point O if we dissolve the forces along the n axis and the perpendicular to that. So the parallel component to the handlebar is gonna pass through O, so it won't make any moments. And we already know that this angle right here is 10 degrees. So this is 10 degrees. And the force that's gonna make the moment about point O is the perpendicular force along the N axis, which is F cosine of 10 degrees. So that's pretty easy to figure out. And also we can find this angle here too, based on the trick that we discussed a lot in the channel. When we have two angles that each side is perpendicular to the other one so we have this one perpendicular to that and this one to the other one these two angles are the same and we can see the same scenario in here i'm going to show it with different colors so we have these two and these two therefore these two are the same angles we know one of them is 15 degrees so the one here would be 15 degrees too so this angle here is 15 degrees so if that's the case the whole angle would be 10 plus 15 which is 25 so this angle here since they are parallel to each other is 25 degrees too so let's get back to the moment the component that's going to make moment about point o on the left side of or at point a we have the f cosine of f cosine of 10 degrees and as as we can see the moment is in this direction so it's a clockwise moment so we have a negative sign minus f cosine of 10 degrees we know f is 150 and the distance that we have in here is the hypotenuse of this right triangle that I'm showing in here so this one or the hypotenuse of this right triangle would be our position vector or the distance between O and A and I should say the vertical distance from O to A since we are using the 2D shortcut that we have for finding the moment. I'm going to put the link in the description below if you guys need to refresh your mind. We went over that shortcut in the channel a lot. Feel free to check out the videos in the second chapter. You're going to see a lot of examples in the playlist. So how are we going to find the hypotenuse in this right triangle? We know this angle is also 15 degrees because it will be same as the one above that. And we can find the base of this right triangle easy because it will be 750 divided by 2 because of the symmetry of the shape. and the figure that we have we know uh, the whole distance is 750 so 750 divided by 2 is going to give us the distance that we are looking for and here if we calculate the cosine of 15 degrees we have the hypotenuse we can call it L 375 over L so if we want to find L in here we basically have 375 divided by cosine of 15 degrees and this is going to give us the L in millimeters so we have to divide it by a thousand to get it in meters so let's just plug in our L to the moment equation so 375 divided by cosine of 15 degrees and we'll do 10 to the minus 3 to get it in meter and our force is already newton so that's the moment of the force applying at point a and now we can move on to the force of point b again if we can find the vertical component so this will be perpendicular to the right handlebar so 
this will be the perpendicular component and this will be and now all we need to find in here is this angle and if we find that one we know that only the vertical component is going to make moment we need to figure this angle here and in order to find that based on the same trick that we talked about earlier we have these two sides that are perpendicular to this side so this to this one and this to this so these two are the same which are 15 degrees so if this angle is 15 degrees and we know the moment is in this direction so we have another clockwise moment f times cosine of 15 plus 25 and we have the same right triangle here and because of the symmetry of the shape the hypotenuse would be the same which is 375 over cosine of 15 times 10 to the minus 3 meter and if you calculate this we get minus 57.3 minus 44.6 and this is going to give us minus 101.9 newton meter the negative sign shows that the moment is clockwise so yeah that wraps it up for today's video hope everything made sense feel free to drop your questions in the comment section i'd be happy to answer those and don't forget to subscribe to the channel like and comment it's going to help me to reach out to more students and you guys take care i'll see you in the next video have a good one